Oh, Chase. Oh, you dirty driver, you. Chase Elliott shoving it down there. All right, you sent it on me. I'm going to send it on you, Chase. Hey, gearheads, and welcome on back into the NASCAR 21 Ignition Career Mode. I'm Alan Bailey. We are heading into the Roval. It is the cutoff race, my friends, and how are we in the point standings? Not great. I haven't looked at it, but you can see right there we're already down to fifth. The cutoff is eighth, so we don't have a whole lot. Of, we have no breathing room, actually. We're going into the Charlotte Roval in almost a must-win situation. Oh, boy. So Hamlin, Harvick, locked in. Elliott is looking really sporty right now. Um, so is Larson, uh, pretty much Larson and us. Lars from Larson on down is really struggling. You see uh, 76 right there, 375. So we're only one point out of Larson right here. Um, Kyle, we only have a few points over Kyle. Five points over MTJ. We're only five points to the good right now. That's five spots down on the racetrack. Oh boy, uh, we'll have um, Willie Byron to keep an eye on. But these guys are tied right here. But these guys are still, you know, on the outside right here, looking in with um, Austin Dillon, uh, Joey Logano, Keselowski, and Reddick all on the outside looking in right now. I don't, I don't know. I think pretty much Tyler is in a much win, a must win. Brad mm, basically is, and these guys almost are as well. So there might be enough separation down to Austin Dillon from us uh, that we get a little bit of breathing room. But you know, we're, I'm looking at these guys going no stay back there. So we're, we're almost in a must win going into the Charlotte Roval. Oh boy! Quick little update of our reputation across the board here. Um, Beard Motor. Well, Colic is still number one for us. Obviously, they're very happy that we won as many races as we've won. Uh, but Beard, Penske um, are kind of fighting for that number one spot next to Colic. Uh, Hendrick actually did jump up to 65 this week. Spire jumped down. So, um, you know, I'm thinking it's it's right here for next year. Uh, either the number 33 or the number 48. If we're offered those cars for next year, we'll have to wait and see. Um, but, you know, I could go Gibbs as well. Gibbs is actually really close in the running here. Um, uh, not, I'm not doing any of these guys, no offense, they don't have the equipment, I believe, so, you know, we're, we're not going there, but the ones that we have the low reputation on, Stuart Haas, we got a better reputation on, I guess, somehow, okay, um, does it look like we're signing with Wood Brothers or Roush, or maybe we are, maybe this is 100% meaningless, and we're gonna be offered the exact same cars next year, um, I don't know, I know that, uh, Tony Stewart, or excuse me, um, Kevin Harvick is um, actually retiring after this season. That tends to be what everybody online has said uh, who have simmed all the way through the first season of the career mode. So um, I'd love to drive that number four uh, Stuart Haas racing forward, but I don't think that offer is going to be there. But we'll wait and see. Will they give us the four or the 41? I don't know. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. Only five races remaining. We are halfway through the playoffs, boys and girls. Yay. So for now, uh, in this video, I should say, we're heading out to the row hole. Our fate is uh, only plus five to the good right now. Um, so nobody, nobody's really great, you know. Uh, so we'll wait and see. We'll go through the playoff scenarios um, heading into the race, I should say. Uh, but we'll head out to Texas for hopefully we'll be in the round of eight, then uh, Kansas, then Martinsville. And finally, we wrap everything up out at Phoenix. So mash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give us a follow over on the social media accounts at Hey Alan Bailey. It helps us out so darn much when you do. Trying to hit 1,000 so we can do our 1,000 subscriber giveaway sometime around the start of the season, we're hoping. We're going to have to wait and see, though. So, yeah. With that being said, we're heading on out for the Bank of America Roval 400 out at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Let's go. Alex Hayden here at Charlotte Motor Speedway for some road course racing. The Charlotte Roval has turned into one of the most exciting events that sends the top eight drivers further into the playoffs. 
we've seen some memorable moments with last lap passes, crushed dreams, and inspiring comebacks. Who punches their ticket and makes their way into the round of eight today? ready to fire up the cars and get the green flag in the air here at the Charlotte Roval. All right, so let's head on into this race, see how we do. Um, see if we can just keep it on track and get a victory out here at the Charlotte Roval. We need a victory. We need to, we're, we're only five points to the good here, so we need, need, need a great finish, if not a victory out here. Oh, it's weird going through the chicane on the restart. Let's go. Mm, we're good. Alright, so far so decent. Oh, I went wide on that first turn. But you see Chase and us, it's gonna be a two horse race. I could just tell if I don't overcook the turns. Oh, yeah, made that work. Made it stick. Chase is going to go ahead and get... Uh, we're going to pull out and chase a little bit here. Oh, boy. Up, not into the wall. And we pull out a little bit more on Chase. Fade, 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 fade. Yeah, two-horse race here, boys and girls. That's an Elliot. Go figure. Oh, we pulled a little bit. We got off that turn a lot better. Nice. Nice first lap. We pull a second up on Chase. I dig it. So we're kind of cruising, man. I got into a nice little rhythm here. Took me a couple laps, but I found my rhythm. And... It's decent, you know, we're three seconds up on the field. Chase is still, uh, I have no idea actually. Um, got a couple more laps here, so I'm feeling pretty decent. Don't look now, boys and girls, but white flag. We got a decent little lead on Chase. It fluctuates, but, ooh, but it's about three-ish. It fluctuates all different directions, and our tire has been smoking. I don't know if it's... I think it's a flat because I can hear it rubbing. You can barely hear it rubbing, but it, it is. But does that just mean my shocks have compacted and I'm, I, got a, I developed a tire rub, or did something break? I don't know, because there's no indicator in this game, and we go way off course. This might kill the race for us. Oh, look who's right here, literally. I would screw up one of the last turns on the last, not even one of the last turns. I would screw up early on in the lap on the white flag and bring Chase right there to us. That was really stupid. Oh, Chase. Oh, you dirty driver, you. Chase Elliott shoving it down there. All right, all right, all right. You sent it on me. I'm going to send it on you, Chase. I want to win at the Roval, buddy. Get back here. It's for the win. I'm okay with that. Apologies to Chase Elliott fans, but guess what? He still comes home third. So looking at the point standings right there, was that dirty? Yes, but it was on the last lap for a victory. And a guaranteed spot in the playoffs, and I'm pretty sure Chase is already good in the playoffs. I needed it more than he did. Chase was 13 to the good coming into this race. The, not, the five car, who isn't even in the top 12, 
was six to the good. We were five to the good. Um, the 18 was uh, one to the good. The 19 was tied. He was the marker, so it, it behooved the 19 to finish where he finished. The 24 also tied. So I'm pretty sure that um, MTJ is in. I'm pretty sure we locked ourselves in, I should say. So we're in, MTJ's in, Elliot's in, Byron's in, the 18 is in in my head, the 11 already locked himself in, the 3 I don't think is in. He was 23 markers out, he finished 7th, I don't think he made up the points. The 4 car was locked in, the 48 not in this, the 2 was 28 markers out, I don't think he's in. Tyler Rennick was uh, 43 markers out, he finished 12th, I don't think they made it at all but frankly the five car finishing 21st potentially opens up a spot so maybe the three car snuck in there and got this i don't know i don't know you're gonna have to mash the subscribe button come back for the next video to see what the points look like going into the round of 12. all right so here's going into the backstretch chicane on the last lap mind you i had an early break and arced i closed off the bottom i thought and and just made it i thought i did a decent job blocking i didn't think he was going to try the high side going into this turn like i didn't and watch this he just i have a nice clean arc i'm right there not not as low as i can be it could have been a better arc but elliot just shoves it down there and kyle bushes it on the outside look at this kamikaze i don't think i didn't know he was out there and all of a sudden here he curb hops look at this hop He's got two wheels off the ground. There's a lot of daylight underneath that car. My gosh. And he kind of plows into us and takes us on the outside here and takes the lead. I feel like that was dirty. Personally, I felt it's the last lap. Do what you got to do. He showed me right there. That's the type of driver I am. So what I did in the final turn, I feel is justified. Here it is at speed. Watch this. Coming down here, he just doink, er, and it does that weird skating thing on the replay, and we just keep going. I felt it was dirty, personally. It looked dirty, felt dirty. I mean, look at how much air is between him right there, and I know we got a busted up Chevy too, but you know, it is what it is. So here we are off the final turn. Chase is high, wide, and handsome. I'm thinking I'm, I'm stuffing him. I'm stuffing him. I don't care. I'm going in here deep. I don't care if I make the turn, go through the grass, blow the chicane. I'm spinning him out again. He got into me. I thought he was going around off my bumper back at the chicane. Somehow the game was like, uh, nope, we're not doing that. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll move that back in just fine. It's good. So I drove it in deep here. You see, I was below that yellow line. And I jacked him up. Look at that. <laughs> I was like, mm, nah, I'm good. I jacked him up, hit him as hard as I could, spun him out, blew over both rumbles. Think I got into the wall. Somehow kept it off the wall. No idea how, but I managed. I was like, you know, I don't care. Elliot just stuff me down there i'm gonna stuff him just run through him doesn't even matter i know was it dirty maybe a little but you know what he got me i got him a lot better did he do it cleanly no he made contact on me first let me know in the comments down below was this last lap turn of events between me and chase elliott worth it like did i well it was obviously worth it i got the victory but was it clean was it dirty does two dirty drivers make not a right driver? I don't know how you want to phrase it, but man, we, we, we drove right over him. That's a great camera angle. Come on. Here it is at speed for you. I just come. Nope. Bye. See ya. I'm gone. Over the rumbles. Technically, I made the turn, but it wasn't pretty and I win the race. I don't care. I felt it was super dirty when he did that, man. That was uncalled for. Um... You know, I don't feel like I broke that early, but apparently to him I did. So I spin him out. And I thought, well, am I going to have to race him spinning to the start-finish line? Is he going fast enough? And he comes to a stop right there in the grass, and we get the victory at the Charlotte Roval. 
I don't care if it was clean. I really don't. I'm I'm all about the justice at the moment, and that felt like uh, like a victory with us getting the checker flag. That's my new background right there. Right there. I'm dead serious when I say that. Me right there crossing the starting finish line at the Charlotte Roval. Chase Elliott way back there in the grass because I stuffed him in it because you know what? You race me dirty, pal. You've done it. He's done that before. Harvick's done it too. So I'm not Team Harvick. I'm not Team Elliott here. I, it doesn't matter to me. When you knock a guy out like that and... It's the last lap, that's fine, but expect another one coming. I just didn't have to wait till the next race. The opportunity presented itself in the same race on the same lap. And you know what? I took it and got the victory. That would have been mine if he hadn't done it first. The only thing that he lost right there is he went from second to third. He could have come home second if he hadn't have stuffed it into the chicane like he did, but he did, and got into me, did that damage to the hood. So you know what? that's what you get chase that's what you get with that being said we're in victory lane at the charlotte roval make sure you come back for the next video to see how the points look heading into the final ra four races for the nascar 21 ignition career mode we're in victory lane i'm alan bailey we'll see you at the track